Tell us about Donald Trump. Will he run in 2024? I'm an unapologetic Trump supporter, <laughs> I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I've, over the last year, um, I've been to see him a few times down at Mar-a-Lago. And I've got to tell you, he is more relaxed, more laid back. He's lost weight. He's playing loads of golf, which is good. I think he should be playing loads of golf, getting exercise. I would say he's lost, uh, in kilo terms, seven, eight kilos since he was um, in the White House. He is full of new ideas, full of energy, utterly determined. And I'll let you into a minor secret. He said to me last year, what would you do if you were me? I said, well, if I had a wife like yours, <laughs> if I had a... Uh, if I had an array of private golf courses all over the world like yours, if I had the great family and great kids, and they are great kids, yeah. that you've got, and this lifestyle at Mar-a-Lago, and I was 75, I'd say, you know what? I've done my bit. I'm going to live one of the most incredible lifestyles any human being's ever had for the rest of my days. I said, but the trouble is, I don't see another world leader with the courage to call out China and offer alternatives. And I absolutely don't see a world leader that will take on the global liberal establishment that have poisoned our universities and the whole of our structure. I said, you are the only man that can do this. I said, Brexit, I'm very proud that Brexit was the first brick out of the wall. But the real cultural battle for all of us in the English speaking world, the epicenter of that battle is now America. I said, if America falls, we'll all fall. And I said to him, I just think, I'm sorry, but I think you've got to do this again. That's and it. he just looked at me <laughs> and nodded. Yeah. And I, I, Alan, he's going to do this. Yeah. He's going to do this. He is going to do this. <laughs>